Average knife, knife skills here in the average kitchen. Average knife skills. Hey, welcome back to the average kitchen. Can't wait to make this salad today. It's gonna be mind blowing. Gonna grill some fresh pineapple here. I'm gonna grill a jalapeno as part of our dressing. Got some shrimp that we're also gonna grill. We're gonna get that marinated right now. So I got some Cajun seasoning here. I'm gonna put in probably two tablespoons. And then I'm gonna add four tablespoons of avocado oil. So we're gonna give that a quick mix here. And then I'm gonna grab a, a spatula so I don't miss any of that goodness. And we're gonna pour that all over our big shrimp that we have here. So you'll see that, that those shrimp are gonna soak up a lot of that beautiful marinade that we just made here. We're gonna let those sit for a bit and we're gonna skewer them up and they're gonna hit the grill. Look at those, beautiful. So we're gonna put that aside. So I've got a jalapeno here, good size. I'm just going to um, cook it just like this. So I'm gonna put that aside. So the next thing I'm gonna do is open up my pineapple. Slowly pull that out. So I'm gonna cut this into relatively thick slices so they can hold the grill really well. So there we got six good sized slices of pineapple. Now the sugar in the pineapple that's naturally there is gonna help glaze and help coat that pineapple to give us this like beautiful sweet exterior. It's gonna be a really nice contrast to the slightly spicy jalapeno dressing that we're gonna make uh, once we pull that jalapeno off the grill. All right, Weber Barbecue is at uh, about 550 here, nice and hot. So we're gonna get that jalapeno on there and then we're gonna maybe drop the one side just a little bit and get these pineapple going. All right, so let's have a look at our pineapple here. I got a fish spatula. Oh yeah, that's nice. They don't take long. Again, the sugars will help caramelize our pineapple. And as you can see, we have a jalapeno that's getting some little bit of color on it. I think it's gonna take a lot longer than the pineapple, but that's all right too. So I'm gonna end up flipping these a couple times and uh, you can see getting some grill marks and I uh, just wanna make sure it doesn't burn, obviously. So who would have knew that barbecuing is a spectator sport. All right, let's flip that pineapple again, have a look. Let's see, it's almost done, or it is done, because it's starting to stick a bit, which tells me that it's drying out a little bit. So let's pull that off. All right, I believe our jalapeno is ready to come off the grill. So we're gonna set in that little bowl there. I'm gonna turn off the heat and um, let's head inside. All right, so I just plugged in my old trusty Breville. Breville, Brave, I say Breville, a lot of people, I think it's Breville. I think it's an Australian company. Anyway, I did a full review on this last year. Uh, super good video, you should check it out. So we've got our nice jalapeno here. Um, the thing about jalapenos that I'll say is you really never know how hot they're gonna be. I've had some that I could eat a whole jalapeno and be like, oh, okay, it's not too bad. And then some that are like Inferno. Oh. Ah. So the trick to this dressing is going to be to create that balance between heat and sweet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this jalapeno in whole, as well as uh, a big chunk of pineapple, some honey, some lime and some lime zest, uh, red wine vinegar and garlic, salt and pepper, and we're gonna try to make a balanced vinaigrette. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of this core out. But you know what, it's going in the blender so I can slice it in the middle. So generally with hot peppers, the seeds is what, and the veins here is what can be really, really hot. Ah! So let's remove those. We'll throw that in. If there's a few residual seeds, it's, it seeds, it's no big deal. But I was just telling Jamie off camera here, this jalapeno actually smells quite spicy. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. So we'll grab a nice piece of our pineapple here. We'll just maybe quarter that. We'll throw that in. A red wine vinegar, two tablespoons. A tablespoon of minced garlic. And then we're going to, I'm gonna wash my hands. They're too sticky, it's driving me crazy. So I've got avocado oil, so I'm gonna put in uh, say four tablespoons to start. And then let's put in, we'll put in a tablespoon of honey because we put that pineapple in there, which is quite sweet. 
So we'll put that in. And now we're going to uh, zest a lime and then we'll put, squeeze in some lime juice as well. So this is a microplaner. They're not expensive to buy. Uh, you know, Amazon, one of those type stores or whatever. So I don't know if you could see, Jamie, all the nice little pieces of lime that that's creating. All right, so now we'll slice the lime in half and we'll just give it a squeeze. So my, again, what I mentioned, my goal is to make this a really balanced, sweet heat with a little bit of citrus and uh, we'll see if we can accomplish that. Gotta wash my hands again. So some freshly ground pepper and we'll throw in some freshly ground salt as well. We'll throw our lid on and so a moment of truth, grab a spoon here. I think it's fantastic. It's really good. It's maybe a little on the finish. It's a little on the spicy side. So for Jamie, I'll put in another tablespoon of honey. We'll give that a blend and then we'll get him to try it. New spoon. Jamie, if you could try this, please. That's good. Spicy? Not yet. Spicy? Not yet. Perfect. So it's balanced. balanced. Just, all right. So I'm gonna get this into a bowl and get it into the fridge because who likes warm salad dressing? Not this guy. And then uh, we'll come back and we're gonna skewer that shrimp and build that salad. All right, so I'm gonna do some prep on some of our veg here. I've got these beautiful radishes from my garden. So I'm just gonna slowly slice those thinly. So radish will give a real nice peppery contrast to this salad, which has that really, really nice balanced vinaigrette that we made. So I don't think I need all of these, but I, I have them, so I might as well cut them. Average nice knife skills here in the average kitchen. Average knife skills. Okay, we got a Roma tomato. I'm just gonna quarter that, and then just lop off that little bit of core that's there, and then probably just Cut that in three. The avocado that I have here, I'm gonna wait right to the end to cut that up and put it into our salad. And we'll take some of our pineapple here and can double that up this way. Yeah, probably one more piece, I think, eh? Are you a pineapple guy, Jamie? Oh yeah. Give that a try, see if that suits you. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really good. Really, really good. All right, so it's time to skewer some shrimp. You'll see here, Really nice color on those, nice and marinated. We're going to try to do, I think we could probably do three or four per skewer. So I cook them with the tails on because it seems to add some flavor, but obviously you're gonna want to take the tail off before you consume them. All right, so we got our grill up to uh, 500 degrees Fahrenheit, nice and hot, and we're gonna get those shrimp on. So I'm gonna give that uh, probably two, three minutes on each side, get some nice color, some nice char on those. All right, so let's, let's give those a flip and see how they look. So looking good, smell fantastic. All right, shrimp's looking awesome. It's got some nice color to it. I'm gonna kill the, kill the power as they say, turn the propane off and I'm gonna uh, grab these shrimp and we're gonna bring them inside and let them rest. Jamie, look at this beautiful assortment that I have here. Give me a little fly over here. We got some beautiful tomato, radish, grilled pineapple, garden fresh, I just picked, basil, three mix, red lettuce, uh, romaine, and arugula, all from my garden. We've got avocado, not from my garden, those grilled shrimp, and that dressing we made. Let's build this salad, can't wait, it's gonna be so awesome. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just give a quick little slice on this beautiful fresh basil and we're going to sprinkle that into our salad here we're going to add some radish which gives again i mentioned earlier a nice peppery taste but also gives a nice pop of color which is really nice we got some tomato that we're going to lay in here and of course our grilled pineapple can't forget that i just find that color on the char is just so nice it just contrasts so well with uh, the, the, the many colors that we have going on here avocado we'll slice it down and we hit the pit and then we'll just sort of roll it. Came out quite nice. So I'm gonna do a little trick that my wife always does here. If you just take a knife and slowly, not too deep, because you don't wanna cut yourself, 
Can you see how he did those slits there, Jamie? And then if you turn it this way, can you see that? In theory, we'll see if this works, we should be able to pop out all kinds of little pieces and no waste. So we're gonna lay those in. You saw it first here on the Average Kitchen. Not that I think I'm the only person in the world that, 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 that does that, but this is gonna be a full salad. So, need a hand wash, give me a sec. So I was at a, a local bakery uh, where I live here the, yesterday and they had these homemade croutons uh, from the bakery. So I thought, you know what? Those would be pretty cool in today's video. So we're not gonna add a ton, but we're gonna add a couple here and there and they're gonna give a nice level of texture to our salad. I said to Jamie, building a salad and then filming it and, and photographing, it's tough because you, you can't really see all the amazing layers, but we're gonna do our best here. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is set up our shrimp in kind of a cool way. How's that look, Jamie? Just kind of dress it. So this dressing had a little bit of time to cool in the fridge. I called it a vinaigrette earlier. It's really not a vinaigrette, it's more of a chunkier because I added that pineapple. But we're gonna lay that in there like that. So there you have it, a grilled shrimp or prawn, whatever you call it, what do you call it? Prawn or shrimp? I uh, hope you try this salad. I had fun making it, can't wait to dig in, loved it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.